show how to. So we have all the ingredients ready for Chow's spiked apple galette. Now I'm going to walk you through the hardest part, putting it all together. Once your dough is chilled, take it out of the fridge. Go ahead and lightly flour a dry surface and give it a few taps. It'll soften it up before you start rolling it out. Rotate the dough while you're working with it so that you get a nice even circle. Once the dough gets to about 16 inches in diameter, transfer it to a parchment lined baking sheet and store it in the fridge so it can relax for about 20 to 30 minutes. Remove the dough from the refrigerator and spread the apple filling all throughout the center. Fold the dough up and over the filling and pleat it back on itself every two inches. Do that all the way around the edge and it gives it this look that's really rustic. It's truly the telltale sign of a galette. Go ahead and dot the top with butter, brush the crust with some water, and then top it all off with some sanding sugar. It gives a nice crunch to that buttery crust. Place in the oven for 40 to 45 minutes until the apples are tender and the crust is nice and golden brown. Finish it off with a nice apple calvados reduction and you can serve it warm, room temp, or cold. And that's all it takes to assemble Chow's spiked apple galette. 